A lot has changed in the world since I graduated from Hobart and William Smith Colleges in 2009, and going back to school each week takes its toll on me. So these days, from time to time, I'm looking for something of a slower pace. So this week, I'll go into the chaplain's residence and pick up some yarn and needles and sit down with Close Knit, the knitting club on campus. I was reading these books about knitting as spiritual practice, and I'm like, oh, that works out really well with my job, so right. I'm going to offer a knitting group. The students said, well, we want it to be our own club. <laughs> and they um, picked out the name Close Knit, and so now they're a, an official organization mm. with the students, and they get a little money from student activities. So we can buy yarn and needles and teach other people to knit, and just kind of connecting at a personal level with some service and some sense of meditation. Seems religious enough to me. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that works. <laughs> All right, what would you like to make? What's an easy thing to start off with? Dishes. Okay. Okay, you want to try it? Um, uh, watch. Sure. Okay. All right. So. Yep, you're gonna go on in the next. The first stage. or the second one? No, the first one. First. Yep. Perfect. Like so. Yep, like so. Uh, Bring it through this hole. Nope. Okay. Whoops. Here, let's try this again. <laughs> it's okay. I made a huge mistake. No. Yeah. So you go into this first ah. one here. You come around. You gotta get the muscle memory. Yep. Oh. There you go. You did it. And then you have to lift that stitch off. Look at that! Woo! Yay! Yay! That's, that's two hard. thus far. Yeah, you're, like, you're talking to me, going right along. You can you do it with your eyes closed? Can you give it a try? <laughs> Good speed, eyes closed. That's, that's pretty impressive. It's an exciting place. It's, it's just comfortable. It feels like home in a way. So if you get to know the farmer that made the yarn, or you actually raise your own sheep, if you spin your own wool, you knit it for someone, you're engaging in a relationship, maybe a service, it's a slow art. You could go down to Walmart, buy a sweater, and it's you know, cheap and it's 10 minutes, but it's not, it's not engaging in any of these other spiritual qualities. I may not be cranking out my own hand-knit sweater anytime soon, but I still have plenty to take away from my first meeting with the Knitting Club. In a world of fast-paced instant gratification, sitting down to knit can teach you a lot about patience. To take part in the construction and completion of something from start to finish is a level of engagement I don't often experience. I'm grateful to Close Knit for sharing an afternoon with me and teaching me how to slow things down. <laughs>